Three, two, one. Good day everyone, Garage King here, and today I got the CC half inch impact driver. It is rated at a thousand Newton meters, so that's about 740 foot pounds. One of the reasons I got this was it's only like $160. The model number on it is WH760. And for those of you that follow me when I do the snap-on flyer review, I do have a lot of professional tools. And so far I just, you know, I'm not sure if I'm ready to go electric yet for tools, so that's why I wanted to buy a cheaper one just to try it out, see how much I really like it. So as you can see here, this thing comes with two batteries. They are four ampere hours. They seem like decent quality batteries. It comes with a nice charger. It's got a red and green light. You know, red is no go, green is go. And for the price, I actually can't believe it came with all these sockets and an extension. So let's talk about the sockets. You get a 17, 19, 21, 22, and 24 millimeter to cover most wheels. Now, the one thing I did notice about the sockets is they are very thin walled. So at first I was just gonna sell them to be honest and just keep my regular sockets, but then I thought maybe they'll actually have a purpose. So here on my VW, you can see I'm putting in my regular snap-on half inch impact socket and there's not really a lot of room so I don't use it because I don't wanna mar up the wheel. And even these ones here with the sleeve are very, very tight. So when I put these ones in, the ones that came with the CC half inch impact driver, you can see there's a lot of room. So if you're careful, you're not gonna mar anything up. Now also it came with these little rubber O-rings and a pin, there's the instruction but you know what, nothing's like a demo, you know, if you can actually see it. So let me quickly explain how this works. You're gonna put your socket on and then you're gonna line it up. You can see right there, we can look right through it so the hole is there. You're gonna put your pin in and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the rubber O-ring over the socket and it's gonna hold the pin in place. Now this is useful if you're just using the same socket all the time, but I, me myself, I didn't find it useful because I'm always changing sockets. So let's keep moving on now. You got three speeds, and if we take a quick look at the manual, you can see it's 1400, 1800, and 2400 RPM, respectively. That's what the manual states, but you know, how good is it gonna work in real life? So if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing there under the vehicle, I'm just shining the light to show you that the light actually does work, and it's fairly bright, so I was happy with that. Now. Let's try it on a wheel. Here, this Acura wheel, you can see it took it off, no problem. But these aren't rusty lug nuts and they're only 80 foot pounds. So let's put that back together and let's go on a vehicle that requires a little bit more torque. So this Jeep requires 130 foot pounds and a 22 mil socket. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing with this socket, the chrome caps have swollen due to rust. So the 22 just doesn't fit on very well. So the 7 8 fits better. So here is number one and you can see it took a little bit of effort. So let's torque it back up. Let's go to number two and we'll try it on number two. So number two did make a difference and it took the nut off or the lug nut off quite a bit quicker. So you know what, let's torque it back up and let's try number three. So there you go, you can see we're at top power now. And wow, that was quite a difference on number three. So you know what, let's do it in reverse and let's put the lug nut back on. Now the highest rating torque stick I had was 110 foot pounds. So that's just gonna have to do. Now we have our torque wrench set to 110 foot pounds and you know what, it comes off without clicking. So I don't think it's reached 110 foot pounds. Let's try number two. All right, and we'll try again. And no, the torque wrench did not click. So you know what, let's just try it again, just to make sure again on number two, I just wanna make sure and no, still not enough. So you know what, let's try it on number three. Hopefully we can get the torque wrench to click. There is number three, so let's try this. All right, now we're gonna try the torque wrench. And there you go, you can hear the torque wrench is clicking. So for putting bolts on, I would definitely advise using number three. So what did I think of this tool? I really like it. And for the price, you know what? You can't go wrong. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. That's it for now, Garage King over and out.